Greetings, 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 and uh, welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday. Let's see if you can hear me well enough. Um, all right. Uh, hi, Laura. Oh, my God, Laura. How are you, sweetie? It's been a while. I haven't talked to you. I haven't seen you on Internet. How are you doing? Um, so I... Uh, this is the first time, uh, hello, Ray E.D. Uh, this is the first time I am going live with a new computer, a new system. So I hope everything is well. And uh, let's begin. This is Lisa Bubari. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. It's exciting. It's exciting for me because I am so excited for so many things that are happening right here at Heal Within. And um, wow, well, hope all is well with you. For those of you who are in this scorching heat, um, finding coolness and shade, and for those of you fighting the fires, I hope you are doing well and you are safe and doing good. I was um, yesterday. There was so there's so much going on. Uh, someone asked me. We were having a talk, and someone asked me, "How come you're always so upbeat?" Well, my answer was, even at the worst time, at the darkest time, I like to put a smile. I I, I go crazy. I do go crazy. Just not crazy crazy but I do get frustrated I do get flustered um, I do not use uh, curse words my curse words the worst one is like darn it and and that's how I express but negative things also affect me it's not that I am immune to it, just like anyone else. We go through dark times and light times, hard times and easy times and loving times. So what is a dark time or hard time? Uh, business not being good, being slow, things not going my way. Like um, even Bodhi not being here, uh, losing him walking into the office his place is still you know it's I miss him and there is a void but with that void I like to think about all the goodness and the love that he brought to my office to my life so what I do I embrace the negative I embrace the dark, I embrace the hard times and I sit with it for just a moment, accepting it and knowing that one of the phrases that I use, this too shall pass. It does. Darkness, that shady, not shady, but shade, the shadow part of us, the dark part of us, helps us uh, come through just like coming through the chrysalis like a baby being born where does the baby get hibernated and cocooned is inside this beautiful womb of a woman and it's dark inside and yet everything that a baby needs is right there in that beautiful sack, in that beautiful place that a baby is being nurtured, fed from us. Uh, it, it, it's like they don't have regular air and oxygen, but from a mother's umbilical cord, they receive all the nutrients. They receive all that they need for all the cells, every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every tissue, every essence of a baby that is coming together is inside the darkness. For they see no light until they are born through that opening, right? 
So that's what I love to think of. Um, I don't believe any of us have lived to where we are today if you are on. Oh, hi, Norm. If you are present or if you are watching this on a replay, please do share. I don't believe any of us are here today, present, without having any hard times in our life. Uh, believe me, I've done my share of wrongs. I've done my share of negative things. I've done my share of uh, hurting people when I was young or either knowingly or unknowingly. And it is right here, right now, that I have to embrace every part of that and say, I own it. I take responsibility for it. I am here where I am right now because of all my experiences. And my experiences are not the same as yours. For I believe every single human being has a story but what if instead of going on this archaeological uh, journey of digging all the way to the past to the parts that we are little girls or little boys and we come to accept where we are today and realize that everything every experience has helped us molded us to be where we are today and each one is a lesson so what do we do with our family what do we do with our culture what do we do i remember years ago because my last name is not ian that means i am my last name is not armenian i was told that i don't i'm not welcomed at a group because my father was not Armenian, right? Or I have an accent. And for the longest time, I was stuck on what is this accent of mine that is not American enough or English enough. And when I was going through my schooling for becoming a paralegal, I used to read Black Law's dictionary, which is the dictionary for to become an attorney. Page by page, I used to read and um, put into memory words. So uh, words became quite important to me. Enunciation and enunciation became important to me. I became a stickler about words and using proper language, proper English, and yet could not get rid of this accent that so many people were calling me on it. And one day, someone said, are you sure you're Armenian because you don't, you don't have an accent? And I was like, what? So what, who we are is our perception. Everything about us is a perception of someone else because we don't fit either in their mold, in their way, in their curriculum, or in the box, or what they know this to be. Even the word this, I had to work on because I used to say this instead of this. And that's the beauty of it. I became my own perception of I'm good enough. And if it is not good enough, then I better learn how to make it better. But I can only do so much because there's always someone better than me and there are those who are not as good and that's okay 
that's okay because if there is a habit, if there is a challenge, I even learned to share and help my clients, those who come and say, I am afraid or I am worried, to help them overcome their worries, overcome their challenges, overcome or shift and change their habits. So what are we truly afraid of in life? I know I'm, I have my own fears. Possibly my fear is that I am not meeting the perception of what my client comes in for. And that's okay. But most importantly is my own standard not perfection for there is no perfection and i know i cannot be perfect but if i can help one person make a change either a child overcoming bedwetting or their own fears their own anxiety or an adult coming in here not being able to sleep because of all the anxieties and that they are overwhelmed with judgment and to help them accept themselves for who they are so that they can sleep soundly when i say i help a client as a whole I want you to know that anyone in life can perfect a technique. Um, as a hypnotherapist, I use hypnosis. I am proud to be a clinical hypnotherapist. I will never stop saying what I do. And yet, what I also do is help my clients overcome the negative misconceptions that they have about hypnosis because it's just an internal process it's a deep state of relaxation there is no gimmicks there is nothing that i can embed in a client or have them do something that they are not comfortable with or they don't want to it's not anything religious that it's against religion Prayer in itself, meditation in itself, is a form of going into an internal trance, internal self-relaxation. So, you know, some people say driving, when we drive, we get into that zone. Getting into that zone in itself is a trance state, which is another word of I am in that zone of hypnotic state. But back to helping a client. I had a client who came in because she was going through tremendous, tremendous pain and anxiety. Pain that she was suffering because she was, she's no longer with us. But she was suffering from the emotional and there was pain because it was connected to the cancer that she had but this lady she would have at that time drive uh, have a taxi pick her up from 40 minutes of driving and come here once a week so that we could do the hypnosis for her to heal her past wounds hurts because she somehow connected her past not being able to forgive herself and the ones who hurt her in her own perception that this is why she had the cancer the disease and her wounds were not healing so she would even bring a pillow so she could sit and it was like a um a, a donut pillow 
because she could not sit on one of my regular chairs. And we would do the hypnosis. And at the end, she went in peace. She had fully and completely healed and come through loving herself, loving her body, loving what she was going through, loving every aspect of her childhood, her adulthood. And I received one of the most beautiful cards. And the best part was the last time she came here, I had just um, done some changes in my office and Bodhi was in the office and she had not met Bodhi. And she came here with toys and a beautiful bed for him so when he's sitting in the corner he can sit in there he loved dogs and and that's what is the gift the gift of giving the gift of healing so when we heal within is when the healing the rest of our healing comes to a transformation and fruition and hypnosis is an augmentation to the medical field that Western medicine so there is the emotional compartments the emotional parts that when we eat emotionally when we smoke emotionally when the whole thing that we do, mental and emotional aspect of it, is what we heal. And then the, the healing of putting the bones together, putting um, everything else together as far as the medicine and the mental aspect of it, the physical aspect of it. We come together to help all our clients become better and heal and become healthier, stronger, and hopefully happier. So how do I help my clients heal within? By allowing and holding space for each and every one to know that they do matter so that we can evoke the past and not hold on to it that in itself can create lots of discomfort and dis-ease and even ibs so that you can embrace all that is happening right here right now and look your life in the present to see what it is and say ah this is what i want to change so that we could evolve so that we can evolve to the next phase. So for that, I've got some key elements that I would like to share. Number one, it, it, it say yes to you. Say yes. So every single morning you wake up, say three things that you are grateful for. First and foremost is oh, your eyes. You can see if you are present and you are alive say yes thank you for that I am right here right now number two appreciate every essence of your body no matter if at that very moment there is something missing wrong hurting doesn't matter as long as you are validating every aspect of you even if it is a pain, say, yes, I am in pain. Validating the pain. It's a validation of who you are, that you can feel, that you can see, that you can touch, that you are alive. And third, just say thank you. And know that if you wanted to make that change, you can it starts right here, right now. We all have shadow. We all have done something wrong. 
we all have hurt someone and we have been hurt by someone and something. I don't think I can find an angel here. And yet we all have angelic aspects of who we are. So with that, gratefulness, love, appreciation. So what can you do today? When you drink the next sip of water, And if you can swallow it, at that very moment, you just brought oxygen and vitality inside your body. You brought a sip of water into your body that was thirsty. Hmm? So appreciating our past, our family, good, bad, right, wrong, I'll share something with you. Growing up, I'm an only child. I always looked up and envied everyone else who had a sibling. And for the longest time, I was like, will you be my brother? Will you be my sister? Will you be my brother? In my mind, even if I didn't say it out loud, it's as if there was this inner hunger of having a brother or a sister. Until I came to adopt my cousins as my sister or brother. And so many told me not all brothers and sisters are good brothers and sisters. There are friends who are closer, who are more genuine and care for you than brothers and sisters. But no matter what happens, it's as if we're constantly looking and searching for the things we think we are missing until we realize we have it all. We have exactly what we need and we can do as good with what we have. Love is within you. The decision to make a change is within you. You are gifted with everything. So for today, I want you to be grateful to the little girl within you or the little boy, to the adult within you. And if you could, just for a minute, close your eyes and say thank you to all parts of you and all the ones who have possibly held your hand and been a part of you, supported you, stood by you. And if you haven't done that for yourself, knowingly, take this moment and do so. And if you want someone else to guide you and be there for you, I'm here for you. I will stand by you so I can hold your hand I will stand behind you, so if you need to lean upon me, you can. And I've always been a defender and a protector, so I will be willingly to stand in front of you, to defend and protect you, because you matter. And that is because I learned I matter. So today's message is, say thank you to you because you do matter. Is there any questions? I'm open for questions. I hope this was um, 
beneficial to you. My name is Lisa Bubari. The name of my business is Heal Within. I heal through hypnotherapy. And 20 years ago, I changed my life to help change someone else's life. I was told not to forget <laughs> to mention I am offering a, a small mini workshop on August 13, and it's going to be somewhere that we are going to share where it is going to be. And it is a vision board mini workshop, ladies. I said it's open for 10 people. We only have room for six more people because four it's already gone and uh, has been promised. So we only have six more people. In this vision board, we're going to sit and visualize what is it that we want to create, what is it that we want to bring into our life, it is the feely, touchy part, every aspect of it. And then uh, it's going to be creating this beautiful vision board. At the end, we're going to do guided visualization. We're going to have uh, some munchies to nourish our soul and nourish our mind and make new friends. So if you are interested, I will put the link right at the end of this message. And for those of you who are anywhere in the area, we must be present. It is not an online. Please let me know and uh, sign up. I welcome you to join us. Hi, Rima. Hi, Ernest. Hi, Chris. How are you? Catherine John. Hi, Jesse. Welcome. Thank you for being present. Say thank you to every part of your life. I am grateful to you. And until next week, so many good things coming your way. I bid you goodbye. God bless you. And may the light of the universe surround you, protect you, and shield you. Have a wonderful week. Until next week, bye-bye.